if we were to start anywhere, Mose, I want to hear how you first got into biomagnetism, because as I understand, you have your own personal story of overcoming some health issues, finding biomagnetism, and then going down that route and, and continuing to learn from the, some of the greatest people there are about this subject. So can you start there for us? Absolutely. So uh, back in 2001, I graduated from UC Santa Cruz, having completed a holistic health uh, program there. And I remember thinking back saying, hey, I learned everything I need to know now so that if I ever get sick or my family ever needs anything, I've got it all in here. That's it. I'm set for life. Because I had learned so much about natural medicine and natural resources. And boy, was I wrong. Because um, <laughs> in my late 20s, just somehow my body started acting weird. And none of the herbs, none of anything that I learned at the university to apply to try to solve this problem, it didn't work. So I started looking outside, going to other professionals. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people go through this, you know, looking for this remedy and the next best thing. And there you are spending a, a fortune, a little mini fortune, seeking a cure. And, you know, part of you then says, well, I guess this is what it means to get older. I guess this is how I'm going to be the rest of my life because a couple of weeks turned into months and then it became years, four and a half years of just feeling miserable. Anything I ate, I felt that I was going to explode. It could be a salad, it could be a fruit, or it could be, a, a, you know, meat. It all felt the same and it was really frustrating. So someone asked me, I, I met this uh, nutritionist uh, doing a, a she was giving a course and I was curious. I said, and she asked me, hey, since you're in the holistic health field, what's, what's your belief about magnets? What's your opinion? And I said, oh yeah, those things don't work. <laughs> and the reason I said that, because I had purchased these fancy shoe inserts, magnetic ones that I had been wearing the whole time. And I was told that they give you great benefits and, and uh, I still felt the same. So I didn't, I didn't dare take them out either. I just always wore them, but that was what I said to her. And she said, no, no, I'm talking about something completely different. And, um, and, I was, and she said, I'll take you to someone. And so we met, uh, he was a, he's a dentist, a former dentist. He gave his practice up and he was telling me that with biomagnetism, you're able to cure people of all sorts of things. It sounded way too good to be true, but I submitted myself to the process. And, and you're right, you know, people, uh, you know, because you don't really feel anything. You think maybe nothing's happening. But we're so used to pills and ingesting things, but there's these magnets on you. And I was going through that experience. Oh, another one of those natural things. And, and about an hour later, my body just starts flushing out. And from one day to the next, my problem that had been there for four and a half years completely disappeared. And that's how I got into biomagnetism. I said, oh my God, this is God sent. I, I need to do this. This is my calling in life. And so that's how I ended up in, in medical biomagnetism. Like with a lot of things, it's experience, right? Versus the evidence. Because you could say, even if you went on and you looked at the evidence, especially if it was very clinical and double blind placebos, you know, you could find stuff on biomagnetism, but the general consensus of someone who's never heard of it before would say, that's not going to work, right? I have done like serious medicine before, right? I've had hard pills and I've gone to the best, you know, specialists at the top universities and they, they said it wouldn't work for me. Then you experience it totally different. So I will say experience trumps evidence in that case. And you notice that for yourself. Now, when we go into biomagnetism, can you explain a little bit of what that is? Because people are familiar with magnets. You learn about them in school. You learn about, you know, lead iron kind of fillings and you go around north and south poles of even the earth are magnetic fields. But biomagnetism adds that word bio in front of that we're all familiar with in biology. So can you go into someone who's never heard of biomagnetic therapy before? and just break it down maybe in the simplest terms right now to, to start this conversation. 
Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, I, I always try my best to explain it to people when they come to my office for the first time. What? Because everyone has that. Well, what is it? And how do you help someone understand in the easiest way possible? Uh, you know, the way the way I like to describe it is is like, hey, look, like, consider the body a, a, a sack of water. We are water, and when you know things like virus and bacteria and fungus and parasites go into your body, they distort that the biochemistry. So your your pH or potential hydrogen gets distorted in, in specific cells and organs and glands. And so you'll, you'll have this phenomenon, this is why our science is called the biomagnetic pair science, pair referring to a simultaneous pH distortion taking place. So, um, you know, let's just say E. coli, for example, just, just as an example. Um, you know, it'd be, it's part of your intestinal flora, but if it goes out of where it's environment, then it becomes infectious. Then now what it's ha what's happening is it's creating a pH distortion, for example, in your thymus gland and in your liver. And so, you know, just to use that as, as a basic example, then how do we get rid of that infection is that we then get two magnets and we're going to apply a negative field to one part of the body and then the positive to the other. And since those that energy is inter interacting with the pH distortion and it's canceling it out or, or you know bringing it back into harmony. And so it neutralizes your pH. And as a result of neutralized pH, then those microorganisms die. Mm. That's kind of it in a nutshell. And I think the main thing there, and this is what I took away, when we introduced it in our center many years ago, uh, we actually considered it terrain therapy, terrain restoration therapy. And that's because if you look at anything, my father always talks about this, so much of the human function, so much of what we can, our terrain, what goes on side of us depends on two things, right? Temperature and pH. And most of us, for, for most cases, temperature is pretty you know, stable unless we're running fever or we're cold. And then of course we have to look at that. But for the large majority of people, it's the pH that is off. And the pH of course determines your environment and what can live there, what can thrive there. And pathogens really enjoy a lot of time, either acidic or different alkaline environments, mostly acidic, but that's where we kind of looked at it as how can we help restore the proper terrain in this understanding of germ theory versus terrain theory that so many are bringing up, especially in a pandemic of looking at inside what's going on that allows things to thrive that would be negative to the body. So we, you know, considered a terrain theory. Um, do you see, uh, I'm sorry, a terrain therapy? Do you see it as the same when you utilize biomagnetism that you're trying to adjust the terrain, the pH there? So that it is an optimal state. And that's where the pairs are coming in to adjust that through a magnetic field that then can change the terrain into a more positive one. That's exactly it. So we're just getting rid of pH distortions and your body reorganizes. It's phenomenal and it does its job once those, uh, you know, interruptions are, are, you know, for example, and going back to how I got into biomagnetism, well, it turns out, you know, the therapist said, by the way, you have uh, parasites. I didn't tell him anything, zero. He just went through his uh, process and that's what came up in, in uh, the results. And I was blown away, I have to say, because I had already taken anti-parasitic herbs and supplements uh, way before that. And that didn't do anything for me. It was through that uh, you know, pH uh, distortion correction that then it set my internal environment the way it should be. And that's what got rid of those microorganisms. So for someone that's really interested in saying, okay, this, this sounds like it's, it's more than just throwing magnets on the body and, and, you know, and, and seeing what happens because there is science to it. There's absolutely experience behind it. And a lot of practitioners are utilizing this all over the world. So if someone is, is wondering what is a session look like? If I were to come to you, let's say, and, and have some kind of pathogenic infectious disease that has not responded well to antibiotics, 
that has not responded well to other conventional means. And, uh, you know, maybe you've been on a herbal supplement too, or protocol and that hasn't gone well. What would that look like if they came to you? Well, it's all very simple. I think first of all, people need to understand that what we do is completely non-invasive, 100% safe. So, you know, first of all, let's get, you know, that worry out of the way. And, uh, and also I should say, before I say that, there is one type of person that I do not treat at my office. That person is someone who is currently going through chemotherapy. And it's not because magnets will hurt you. On the contrary, magnets help restore your balance, which then causes the chemotherapy to be absorbed differently into your body. And then um, it, it, can, it can be harmful. So I just wanted to say that those two things before I go into you know, the explanation of most people come into the office, it's a very simple, it's a very quick intake. What are your top four to five symptoms that are bothering you? I want to know if people are on chemotherapy, and I want to know if people are on um, immunosuppressant drug therapy. That's important for me to know. Then they just go into a little room, they lay down on a little therapeutic table. And I do a form of, uh, you know, we People would probably know muscle testing over the term bioenergetics. So we do a form of muscle testing and, you know, that's how we diagnose and that's how I'm able to determine where magnets need to get placed. So a person is laying there, then I'm placing magnets on them. Once I'm done with that process, which takes somewhere around 10 to 15 minutes, then a person is laying there for, um, here on my latitude where I'm at in California, uh, people will lay there for 27 minutes while the magnets do their, their job there. And that's it. People get up and uh, some people are like wondering, hmm, uh, what's going on here? What was that about? And other people are, were, would say, oh my God, I felt a lot of tingling or movement inside, or I feel more peaceful, uh, more relaxed. So that's kind and of... And that's really because the magnets themselves, the, the, the two poles operate, are, are basically sending these fields, correct, through the body that are then changing or you could say adapting and, and changing the pH, correct? That's, that's what's going on. So you would put one, let's say, near the spleen area, another pair somewhere else that is that has been researched. And Dr. Goyce, who I believe you trained under as well, correct? Yes. He, he's known as kind of the father of biomagnetism and he had these biomagnetic magnetic pairs. And I, I've seen his work as well of where the pairs would go. So you put one spleen or somewhere on a, on a, you know, the thorax or somewhere else on the body. And that then is impacting a certain area, correct? That would have some sort of pH imbalance, possibly inflammation or degeneration in that area. And the magnets themselves are then changing that correctly through the um, different polarities and electromagnetic fields. Correct. Okay. So that is what happens. And you say you're doing it for 27 minutes. What are the types of things? Because we talk a lot about when we talk about terrain, you talk about pathogens, but it doesn't just stop there. Terrain is so important for so. So what are the types of conditions and diseases you've seen have been beneficial, have, have improved with biomagnetic therapy? Well, first of all, 99.9 .9 of the people who walk through my doors don't know what else to do because everyone has gone the medical doctor route, acupuncture, chiropractic, you know, all those things that are well known and common and have existed for a while. That's where people usually go first. I seem to be the last one because it's so new. There's just so few therapists. So I don't see a one type of person. I see all sorts of things cardiovascular issues, kidney, everything, you name it, even mystery illnesses where they keep saying they're fine, but they feel terrible. Um, I would say that the majority of people, independent of what their circumstances are, whatever their signs and symptoms are, have great improvement. There's a great shift within, within the week. So it's, it's, I can't really say one thing or the other just because I, I see it's just so broad in, in the spectrum of, of people that I see with types of problems. 
Yeah. And I think when you're going after root causes and not conditions themselves, which are just a description of symptoms in a sense, that's your diagnosis is based off of that. When you go after root causes, I think there's always this ability and necessity to improve the terrain and the pH. Almost every single patient that I, I know I, when speaking with doctors, they state that their patients always have some kind of pH imbalance, some kind of toxicity levels that are, except that they're contributing to the state of disease. So in that case, something like biomagnetism does a, a great job of addressing what is causing you to have your symptoms, therefore your diagnosis and disease. Am I correct there? Absolutely. Yeah. Now, one of the things that um, uh, I, I know that patients have, again, a hard time understanding, and I actually brought this up to our medical team when I was prepping for this and going over, hey, guys, what are the patients really asking about? And they say, well, you know, th they have a really hard time understanding how these two things scientifically, you know, work on them and how magnets are going to change them. And I think we did a little bit of justice of going into the very baseline of, all right, you need polarity, you change the pH, but is there research and science you could go into that can maybe satisfy the skeptic mind of some saying, you're still telling me magnets on my body are gonna help me? Like, wh where's the science in that? And everyone loves throwing around that word these days, science, right? So, um, you know, how, how would you go about that skeptic that's looking for the scientific proof? <laughs> well, you know, it, it's it's difficult, first of all, because this science originates in Mexico. So the literature is mostly in Spanish. Every year, and I haven't been to one of these in a while, but there's a biomagnetic congress and you have medical doctors and, and other scientists, primarily in Latin America, that have, you know, conduct studies and, and they're well documented and they have them in these huge volumes. Um, but I mean, the, the the studies are there, it's just so hard. I mean, we're here in the United States, so I don't think things just don't get easily translated and placed in journals here in the US. But um, I mean, I you know, since I'm in the field and I go there and I study and I'm surrounded by these people, it's just, and they're presenting them um, I mean, we're exposed to that science, but it's really hard to say, well, here, there's this website, go to that. Um, at most, you might be able to find um, things maybe on Dr. Goyce's website. I know there's universities nowadays. Uh, there's uh, one in um, Spain that maybe five years ago opened up a master's program. So, I mean, hey, listen, universities uh, around the world are now teaching uh, this subject matter as a master's program. So clearly there has to be science. Regrettably, unfortunately, I, I don't have a specific website for you guys to to, to visit. No, that's good. And as we said, so much of this is exper experiential. I think the case reports and studies, when you go to these things, and you speak to, with other doctors who are utilizing other practitioners around the world. And like you said, in Spain, I know a lot of that is, is centralized there, but there is the case reports and the actual um, therapeutic outcomes of people who have utilized biomagnetism to improve. So you got to go there. And, and another point I'll say to this is that by magnets can't be patented, can't be, you know, sold through the pharmaceutical industry in that case. So, you know, the, the, the money behind something like this, as with a lot of therapies, isn't quite there for the conventional realm to get on board. Nevertheless, I will say that the idea of magnetism is quite a popular one. So, and can you go into the difference between something like pulse electromagnetic field therapy and biomagnetism? Because both are working on the energetic principles of electromagnetic fields. But what's the difference and what kind of even power are we looking at in these magnets? Because some people may say, are you utilizing a really powerful large one or very small one like a uh, you know refrigerator magnet? I'll start with that, that, that uh, question first. Uh, the understanding is that a magnet has to be have must have at least a minimum of 1000 gauze in strength. That's the minimum. So whether you have a 4000 or a 10000 or a 20000 magnet it does no more or less than a 1000 gauze magnet. So I know online and and you'll look at these things oh we have an extra strength magnet 
as if that matters, but in our field, it doesn't. What matters is a specific strategic placement, and that's what matters. Um, now, in terms of pulse electromagnetic frequency technology, we actually started incorporating that uh, maybe four years ago in our office, and it was by complete accident, you know, because being in this field, you know, everyone, uh, there's a lot of healthcare practitioners that come in the office, they're curious, they want to submit themselves to this process, and then they've got something to share and something to sell. And over the years, I've heard tons of things, and I don't doubt that they work. But when you have a, a, a mechanism, a, a machine, if you will, a healing machine that works, it's like, well, if it's not broke, don't fix it. So it just so happens that um, my office had flooded after it rains and I was closed down. I had to move offices and somebody invited me to this um, talk about post, uh, PMF technology. And I, I said, well, I've got nothing to do. Let's go check it out. Let's see what's, uh, let's learn something new. And it was really fascinating to, to learn about that. And so I submitted myself to a session on, on a mat that emits uh, you know, that electromagnetism. And, and again, you, know, you don't really feel anything, but I have to say that after that first experience, I slept like a baby. So the, the science is that it, it, it's emitting a frequency, an electromagnetic frequency in your body and then it stimulates blood flow. So that's pumping blood throughout your body, which is nourishing, and it detoxifies you at the same time. So would you say those are complementary to bio, so PEMF and biomagnetism? They definitely complement themselves beautifully. You know, when I bought that technology, I was just noticing how great I, I you know, because it's, it's, a, it's a technology, so it, it pushes you, it stimulates in a very different way than a, than a static magnet. You know, static magnets do a great job of restoring, but if you have that extra push, things move along a lot faster. Yeah, I think we've witnessed the same thing in our clinic and we've used, utilized, you know, amp coil beamer. I know you talk about beamer, of course, um, uh, even larger, you know, ones from Germany, Alphatron and other ones that are there truly, you go in the cone and, you know, it's, 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 I remember my father did this trick and he had it when I was younger and you put a paper clip in the middle of the cone and it stays there and floats because it's this magnet <laughs> and it's like, oh, all right, I could see it's working now because you don't see those pulse fields but they actually will hold a paper clip that's magnetic in there and just float. Um, so you know it's working. But you know, I, I know these are very complementary and they are, like you said, in, at the same time, different in the ways they apply where one is more terrain pH based, the other one is more, I would say, detoxification pathways, blood circulation, uh, anti-inflammation even, and great for, for joints and, and broken bones, PEMP could be so. So they are very complementary. Any other therapies that you have seen to complement biomagnetic therapy? Well, those are those are the two primary ones that we have here at at, uh, at our office. You know, also I, I I'm a musician, so I started incorporating that uh, a little while. But um, I mean, there 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 is something, and it's a system that I developed. You know, a biomagnetism for the layperson. And but you know, that's that's my mission is to empower people to be self sufficient. And I think that's very important because, you know, a lot of people come, hey, you help me, you fix me. But there are things about um, each person is, there, is unique. And there's certain work that can only happen by you submitting yourself to your own personal work. So there's this, uh, what I call the recalibration system, where I submit people uh, through a protocol of magnets and a self-awareness intake. And I, the people that do submit themselves to that uh, learn a lot about themselves and come out um, with an awakening, if you will, having gone through that experience. Can you go into that a little bit? Because, uh, you know, I guess a question that we've received also is, well, why can't I just do this at home? And there is a, a you know, an art almost to say and, and a medical expertise uh, area of this to know where the pairs go, to know how to utilize them for the right times, whether you're using more muscle testing, bioenergetics, bioresonance testing to choose where it is. 
And as things start to correct or the la layers of the onion peel, you have to go somewhere else, right? So that is where you require possibly a practitioner to assist you with that, as opposed to just throwing magnets anywhere on you and expecting that to work. But I like that idea of empowering someone to still utilize it outside of a the medical arena or professional arena so go into that a little bit more what can people do to start utilizing biomagnetism themselves absolutely i, I want to share this with you uh, a couple years ago when my son was i want to say 18 months um you know he's he's got a little sniffles and he's coughing and you know that's that's fine let his body do what it's going to do and i'm not that type of parent that's like, oh my God, a little booger and let's do therapy. No, let's just see what his body does. That's completely fine and normal. And as the day goes on, so here we are and he's having, he has dinner, but now he's coughing more. And then it just seems like, uh oh, now he's going through a little bit of a crisis because he coughed so hard, he vomited. Now at that point, I was like, okay, now it's magnet time. And, and it was, a beautiful thing to see him like from looking completely stressed out in fear crying and and after like five minutes of having magnets on his body he cheers up and then he starts running around all over the place like like if it was daylight all over again like he just got super energized and those symptoms went down like a lot and i was just it that was that moment in my life where i thought of all the miserable pain and suffering that billions of people in this world are facing. This doesn't matter if you're healthy. You know someone, a friend, a family member that's suffering and, and, and no one's immune to witnessing suffering. And at that moment, I had never thought of what I do. Uh, the way I thought about suffering in that moment was like, I need, it's not good enough that I have a, a, a little wellness. That's not good enough. We need to get magnets and we need to put them in people's homes and people's hands. People need to start using this for themselves. And so I really started, you know, getting the wheels turning there. And I started thinking, well, how do you deliver that? How do you show people that? Especially, um, seriously, I, I have these magnets that we have that we sell as little kids. They're labeled positive and the other side is labeled negative. I have people ask me when they have it in their hands, which side is positive and which side is negative. And I'm just like, it, okay, so how do we, how do you factor that in? That people understand life differently, they're, they're, the way they feel about their own learning process. You know, some people are super confident. They'll look at this and say, no problem, I get it. And other people overcomplicate it, even though it's intended to be simple. My idea was that a 10 year old should be able to pick up these instru instructions and make sense of them. And everything I've ever written, and you, I, I thank you for having that book, you can see that it's very simple to read. I don't try to get fancy because then you lose people. Mm -hmm. People get paralyzed and do nothing. Yep. So, so that's what it was. The recalibration system was about showing people in a holistic approach, how do you look at your life? What's, what's bothering you emotionally? What's bothering you physically? What's bothering you spiritually? right so that's easy people, most people are able to identify what bothers you and so from there the idea is that we form a bridge okay well where do you want to be if you weren't sad what would you rather be if you weren't uh if you didn't have back pain how would that alter your life how would that be differently so you know the easy thing is you have optimal physical uh, fitness or you say, yeah, I'd go dancing or skating or hiking the way I used to. And then spiritually, you have to identify those things that are weighing us down. And, and in a perfect world, if it was in harmony, well, what does that look like? So now we've identified the problem and the potential solution. And then we take those, um, those elements and then we, we apply magnets. So on, there's a formula for the emotional challenges, like the sadness, for example. And that's it. That's all you think about. You lay there and there's a specific formula for that. And then the next day we address something else and we do that for six days. And a lot of people get so much out of that. And see, you don't have to now diagnose virus, bacteria, fungus, pair. That's what I do. And a lot of people 
get some phenomenal results going about it that way. That's really cool because I always say a patient has to realize that as much as they could go into a medical facility and get treatment, they may be there one, two hours a week. There is a lot of time and a lot of things they can be doing to healing outside of those one or two hours. Not everything rests on just being in a medical treatment facility or with a professional to heal. Healing is you know, something that comes from within. The doctor or practitioner never heals. You heal yourself. They just help you, right? They're guiding you. They're your coach through it. Yes, they help to facilitate it. Now, something really interesting I, I heard there was, I, you know, we r recognize that biomagnetism could be wonderful for pain, as you mentioned, and for infectious disease. We see a lot of Lyme patients, and a lot of times biomagnets show up in their treatment protocols that are personalized to them. But you also mentioned emotional issues things like depression, how, how does something like biomagnetism, which seems to, to work on just terrain or, you know, restoring certain pH, how does it work on those issues, the, the psycho-emotional side? Well, in part of our muscle testing, the, we do scan for emotions as well. So the idea there is to label them. And then there's also uh, a pairing associated with that. So yeah, we definitely do go into emotional things. You know, there's a difference, uh, you know, depression, there's clinical depression, and then there's depression because some kind of life event. And so either way, if we restore your biochemistry, people do feel better. I mean, if there's an endocrine system problem, well, things shift, and there we go. We're, we're back to normal, if you will. And of course, you know, the other things when people lose, I mean, this whole past year has been terrible for a lot of people who've lost loved ones, or people can't see each other. So um, you know, in my experience, I, I think I need to go a little bit deeper, um, and that's I think it's so valuable that I even studied holistic health at the university because there's this whole thing about active listening and, and just, you know, giving people strategies, but, you know, and, and that was the whole point to that recalibration system is to help people have a, 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 a system, a protocol, steps to submit themselves to and just see that the, the beautiful thing, not be afraid uh, about feeling. I mean, I think a lot of people want to avoid pain and sadness at all costs. And I think that's a failed strategy. I think we have to look at it and, and validate those feelings. And otherwise we're just, a, a friend of mine called it this, it's you're spiritually bypassing, where you go from like, oh no, I'm fine, I'm fine. No, you're not fine. <laughs> so we have to be careful about that. And, and you know, I, I do try to show people, even if people don't have the kits or the magnets, I still say, hey, take this idea home with you, apply it to your life and see what happens. It's simplified my life, that's for sure. Yeah, it's so essential too to have that mentality and, and address things as they come up because symptoms are just, you know, bells basically going off, showing something is there and symptoms aren't just physical. They are completely emotional, spiritual. And I feel a lot of people have been stuck in on that spiritual because that's the hardest one to kind of identify. You don't have any lab reports for the spiritual ones and that loss of purpose and, and that kind of loss of feeling connected can, can really trickle down into the biochemical. And then you're looking for a biochemical source, but it's really the spiritual side of it. So it's really important to address all three. And it's wonderful how biomagnetics can help you get there. Now, you mentioned that you provide also strategies for obtaining wellness. What are some of those? Aside from, of course, the biomagnetic side, are you recommending things like infrared saunas for detox or any herbal remedies, uh, blue light glasses? There's so much out there, but but what would you recommend to, to most people as as far as that? It's you, you, so funny you bring up the uh, the, the uh, glasses to block the blue light. Which I'm wearing because right I was, now. <laughs> I was looking for mine uh, and I was like, oh man, I don't have, I left them at the office, you know, so, um, but yeah, I mean, there's a lot, there's, there's a lot, we can get wellness from a lot, you know, the, we're in front of technology screens. That's absolutely necessarily, we all need those types of glasses. Um, but, you know, I think something very, yeah, I say yes to all of the above. You know, every time anybody asks me, hey, what do you think about this? I think I tell everybody, I think you should try it. I think you should go for it. Don't hold yourself back if you're thinking about it. 
you're thinking about it for a reason. It's not, don't, don't, not because I said yes or no, it's because it's calling you. Go for it, explore it. Um, but there is one, one thing that, that it, it, it doesn't cost you anything other than gas, uh, gasoline to get somewhere. And, and a lot of people love this. I say, hey, you guys, um, especially the ones that are living with a lot of, uh, and who isn't? I mean, who, who doesn't carry uh, baggage from, from life, just life? And so what I tell people is go to a place in nature. I go, we got the beach here 20 minutes away. Uh, but other people do come from a distance. So go to some meadow, go to a river, go to a lake, somewhere out in nature. Because uh, it cannot be your bedroom or your car or your backyard. You have to be somewhere out there in nature. Find a nice, comfortable place to be in. And then you're going to vent out loud. And so someone showed me this, uh, told me about this some years ago. And he said, you know, the idea here is to vent pretending that you're speaking to the parent of the opposite sex. So us guys, we pretend that mom is right there. Hey mom, this is what's going on and this is how I feel. And when I was a little kid of this, and when I was a teenager that, and at school this happened, and, and you know, and then you just go and go on and on and on. And uh, I've had, and I put that, that's in the book actually, the one that you own. I put that in there, I thought it's such a valuable exercise. I've had people, random strangers, call me and email me just to say that that exercise alone right there ra radically changed their lives like overnight type thing. And because we begin to see that the problem is not the world. It's not the neighbor, it's not everyone, it's, it's ourselves. We're the problem because we keep holding on to resentments and, and regrets and all that stuff. So the moment we free ourselves of our own uh, bag you that we dump it out, then that's it. We're free now to deal with today's issues because today we'll present something new. <laughs> so may as well, uh, you know, deal with it uh, free of yesterday's stuff. So simple and so powerful, right? Because, you know, it, it's free. It's, it's something that you could look at on the surface level and say, yeah, that's really going to help me from my chronic disease. It absolutely can if you allow it, because most of us don't even realize that what we're carrying around in us is so heavy that it just weighs us down in a, a form that we're not even really certain how far it goes. We know there are things like the PNEI system where psycho neuro endocrine immunology, they're now connecting all of these that it starts in your head, stressors go down, the cascade goes into the biochemical effect to disrupt your hormones, to disrupt immunity. But in reality, I think as we continue to study this in 10, 20 years, we'll realize it's every single system in our body, everything, not just the neurological and endocrine and immune system, but you're going to need, you know, 20, you know, different letters there because it's connected to cardiovascular to everything. And that idea of release is really important. And I think that's a lot of what even biomagnetism is about. It's about trying to release, get things out of the body, function properly. And a lot of times it's not what you're trying to put in. So many people look for the supplements, the pills. What can I add and put into my body to help me? A lot of times is what can you get out of the body? My father always used to say that. He's like, stop trying to put so many things in there. You need to get things out. And it, sometimes it starts in your mind, in your head. That's the beauty when you can get to zero, as they say, and things like Ho'oponopono and so many beautiful techniques are about getting to zero. That's where you find peace and health and healing. So I really like that idea of, of venting, going out into nature. And, and, you know, isn't nature and being in nature, and you could say even things like earthing or grounding, isn't that a form of biomagnetism? Because the earth has its own magnetic field, right? That's, that's true. That's true. So... You know, when, when you're looking at things like, all right, you want a really, really subtle and easy way to do some sort of biomagnetism, go outside, put your feet into the ground, into the soil and feel those waves in a sense, rush through your body and try to correct that. Um, you know, let's talk a little bit now and switch gears about what else biomagnetism can help for, especially in this day and age. And I want to hit on a few different subjects that I hear a lot about. How about infertility? Because I mean, you're kind of seeing, I think, a little bit of a crisis 
where it, it is something that I see a lot more IVF is up. A lot of people are having trouble conceiving. There's a lot of toxicity involved in that. I think a lot of different, you know, lifestyle choices and everything that may lead to that, but can biomagnetism help for something that's trying to uh, conceive? Absolutely. Um, I've had several women actually with, that had that experience of, they were this, uh, just a step away from going to a fertility clinic, you know, but um, uh, let me see the one that I have in mind that just a couple of years ago, there's this woman who came and she says, I've been trying to get pregnant for the last, you know, half a year type thing. And she says um, that um, then she had, she remembered that she had had come to me a couple of years before, but totally forgot about the, just that I ever existed. She just forgot. And then all of a sudden it came to her like, oh, that Magna guy, he helped me for that problem. I wonder if it'll help for this. So sure enough, she, uh, she came in and 30 days later, she's pregnant. So yeah, most definitely. Uh, here's another one, uh, older, uh, well, I wouldn't, you know, just late thirties. I mean, older, older in that sense, but, um, so uh, what happened with her is she hadn't had a period in six years. That, that, actually, that's actually young. To be, actually, that's, she's young, but she hasn't had a period in six years. And within three days of seeing each other, all of a sudden, she just started, uh, you know, that started happening. Her, her thing is that she kind of freaked out, though, because it lasted for like two weeks so that's not a problem. That's just her body cleaning itself out. But uh, yeah, in short, yes, the answer is yes. Biomagnetism can certainly help for fertility. Yeah, and I, I feel like a lot of that does, of course, have to go to terrain, but also toxicity, toxic, you know, um, burden that a lot of people carry that uh, it's said to say that when you're in a very high toxic burden state, the reproductive system is incredibly taxed and it has a hard time when it's clean and it could do, you know, um, uh, put its efforts into that and all energy and function and can happen it becomes a much easier process. So I, I guess part of that biomagnetism is the detoxification phase and, and restoring a proper terrain. How about weight loss? Yeah, that's certainly, I mean, also, cause I mean, you know, we have to look at microorganisms or dysfunctions in the body to affect metabolism. So if a person's doing, you know, a good job at nutrition, but they can't drop an ounce, then we know there's something obviously that, that's wrong in there. So yeah, most definitely we've had, uh, people that all of a sudden you start it, it starts clicking and one of the more controversial ones i'll go into now and not to go into the controversy about vaccines but there there is an element of people saying there there's always some level of toxicity involved in it you know i'll have the vaccine whatever it may be flu, flu covid anything but there's a element of detoxification that they'd like to go through afterwards. Can biomagnetism help with vaccine toxicity? Yeah, and, and the way I would do it is do it, don't wait till after, do it before and do it after, right? That's, that's the smarter approach in my opinion. But yeah, I mean, when, when we're doing biomagnetism, whatever information that was, you know, that information that was injected into you, that's now in your body, if, if there's a problem you, when we're doing our, you know, muscle testing scan, those things will come up. And where do we need to place the magnets to, to neutralize, to, to get rid of them and, and help things uh, out of your body, most definitely. Really interesting, because I feel like most people take that black and white, it's either good or bad or do it, don't do it. I think there's a huge gray area here. And I don't think it's a black and white issue. And regardless of, you know, whether you go ahead with any inoculation or, or vaccine, there are certain steps and certain precautions and actions you could take to help improve the outcome of it. And if you're at all concerned about something like the toxicity or what's being injected into me, something like biomagnetism can, of course, help in that right and and help uh, basically mitigate anything that may come about from it not saying it will or won't but that that's something really to consider heavily and have you seen that at all that you've seen uh, people after a vaccination possibly show some side effects or some toxicity where you use biomagnetism to correct that well most most uh that i would say most people don't come in and confess hey you know i had a <laughs> vaccination or or maybe people don't 
don't associate it, but um, uh, yeah, so I, I can't I can't speak to that. Okay. Now, where do you see the future of biomagnetism go? Because I feel like, you know, there, there's a huge potential here to utilize biomagnetism as part of an integrative approach, as part of a, a real conversation almost as to what should be utilized to help people suffering from either chronic disease or just helping them get to their highest level of, of, of health. Where, where would you like to see, let's say, you know, biomagnetism go? Do you want to see it within hospitals? Do you want to see it just more mainstream or at least being applied within certain practices, functional, integrative? Where do you hope it goes? Well, first, first, first steps first. Um, I think the common person needs to have at least a couple magnets at home and begin to use them. I think once, you know, goes into our, our, you know, the consciousness of the social fabric, then they're going to be going to, you know, other practitioners and say, hey, I've got these magnets. What do you think about? And, and open up the, the um, mind of other practitioners. Because I know most, most of us in, in, in well, it doesn't matter what field you're in. When, if you're a chiropractor, you're a chiropractor. You, you don't go around putting on another hat. It's not that easy. But at least if uh, more people are talking about it, maybe the, the youth will have greater interest in studying this. So for the next generation and have it be that way. But I think for, the, for now, the way things are now, I think magnets need to be in the hands of the lay person to be self-sufficient. I think one of the things that this pandemic has pointed out is that uh, the medical system across the board is completely fragmented. It's it's broken. People don't have answers. People are confused. So at least if you're navigating through that confusion, you could at least say, "Well, hey, I'm doing something for myself." In a in a and a lot of people say, "Oh my God, this is genius. Who would have thought that I could place some little magnets on 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 me, and then pain just m magically disappears?" So those are some of the comments that I've gotten. And what are they? A lot of the people that use these magnets, they're not studied in, in anything. They're just our neighbors. So, yeah, obviously, you know, in, in a couple of years down the line, it'd be phenomenal. I mean, when the whole pandemic started, I was like thinking, man, I wish, you know, the local hospital would call me and say, hey, come over and let's work together and see what this can do for the patients. I would have loved to have been in, in, in one of those COVID wards. That would have been exciting for me. But... I don't think we're there yet, but hopefully yet. one day. No, I, I definitely think one day, and I think that's the a smart way of going about it. I mean, I've been in this industry my whole life just because my father's been in it, but also working with lots of doctors from all over the world for the last 15, 20 years. And I realized changing their minds is not very as easy as it seems. You could present everything you want. You could show them results. You could show them success it's still difficult until the patient's acceptance is there because that's their main objection. They're saying, this sounds wonderful and great. I don't know how to sell it <laughs> to my patients. And in reality, if the patient was selling it to the doctor, the doctor would be on board right away. And, and that's why I do agree that it needs to start with the people's acceptance of it and wanting it within the doctor's offices to get it there. So if I'm a person that's really interested in getting started with biomagnetism, where would I go to learn more to apply magnets even right now? Would I go to your site? Would I go somewhere else? How do I do that? Yeah, you want to go to SaveMeMagnets.com. Um, that's, that's our website. And I have a little free online course that would talk a little bit more about, you know, the self-care approach. There's also links there to uh, self-care kits, you know, for their own wellness. Uh, you know, I try my best to get information out to people, and and you know again, thank you for having me uh, today because it's it's important, it's important that we we talk, have these conversations, and 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 we have to work together. That's just the bottom line. This isn't about you know we can't be fragmented anymore. This world is crazy enough. You just turn on the news and and it's just mayhem. So that's that's not healing at all. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I encourage anyone who's interested in biomagnetism, go to savingmagnets.com and, and ask questions. I mean, that, that's what motivates me to, 
oh, maybe I should do a video on this or, or a class on that. So I really like what you said there, because I've always said, um, you know, medicine is not about competition, which I feel it is in many ways. You have one specialty saying I could do it. They're, you know, terrible and this and that. It's about collaboration, not competition. You got to put the patient first. And if you put them in the middle of the table and you have all the different specialists and all the different professions and gurus from around the world, and you literally looked at that patient and came together, I think you could do remarkable things working together rather than against each other, which it seems right now. And you, like you said, many patients that you see that we see passed along from specialist to specialist, they're not working together. They're working actually against each other in some ways. And the patient does not win in that system. So collaboration is absolutely essential. And I love what you're doing to help empower people to see you could utilize biomagnetism for your benefit and still you know, appreciate the rest of what's out there to heal you. Like you said, experiencing everything from blue blocking glasses to infrared saunas to all types of different therapies out there. Now you have a number of books that you've written. Which one was your favorite and why? <laughs> the one that you held up, uh, I think I, uh, that one? was the... Yeah, that one, How Magnets Can Save Your Life. It took me three years to write that book. Uh, you know, I, I started writing, it was supposed to be a frequently asked questions book. And so I started drafting it. But, you know, in practice, when people came, you know, when people come to you and say, hey, Moses, this is my problem, help me. They, they don't want me to sit down to them and tell them about, you know, pH distortions and chemistry and physics and they don't care. They, they, they want the like, hey, I need to get well yesterday type thing. And so then that book became like, okay, well, what's it take to live a great life? And so you can see like all the chapters in the book are not just about magnets, about starting with yourself, setting up a system for yourself, identifying what a great life is to you. And then looking at other things like I talk about alpha biotics in there. I talk about uh, there's a uh, nutrition there's there's just so much that gets talked about in that book and to be honest with you that's the one that most people compliment me on they're like it this book is amazing anywhere you you open up the book and there's something applicable to your life so that's my favorite i like that and there is a lot of great stuff in this book if you were to leave the audience with three tips to living a healthier life maybe even pull it from the book if you want what would those be three things um, to live a great life, you have to understand, well, I, I don't like identifying where are you not doing great? Mm. For me, that's the most important question to use such a simple term. Where, where, where in your life is it, is it sucking? Right. <laughs> and, and then asking your, yourself, well, if, if it was optimal, if you can snap your fingers right now, well, what would it look like? And what would it feel like? Right? I think that's the second most important question. And then taking action, whatever that is, whatever is calling you inside. And I think something that's just as basic as that starts shifting things around. So when people are asking me, what do you think about cryotherapy or infrared? Hey, that is that, that little voice inside of you helping you navigate. Don't ask someone else. Go live it yourself. Live your life experience right it, it comes back to that again i think that's so essential i think that's that's so useful that you could study anything ad nauseum and you could ask the world about it and until you experience it really doesn't mean much <laughs> it's it's all about that experience and and whatever beckons you whatever really resonates with you it's getting to know yourself and then seeing where the universe kind of guides you isn't it absolutely i'm so thankful I'm grateful and people look at me sideways when I say this. Thank God that I was miserable for four and a half years. Mm -hmm. Because had I not, had I been like a normal young 27 year old that, and someone told me about biomagnetism and I probably wouldn't like, what for, you know, I feel fine. I feel great. Whatever I'm doing is wonderful. But it was the fact that I was so miserable and that the changes were so radical that I, I'm always thankful for that experience. So, and then, you know, just to think that just by following my gut feeling, it, it led me to biomagnetism. 
I could have, I could have been that type of person that's like, well, explain it to me, give me proof, give me evidence, where are the journals, blah, 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 blah. More of that behavior that blocks people. See, that's not, you're not helping yourself, I don't think, by being that way. Sure, if you want thereafter, want to understand it, yeah, why not? But for the most part, and I'm, I'm that kind of person, jump, just make sure it's not going to hurt you, right? <laughs> Whatever you do, it's not going to hurt you. And then just go through the experience. There's so much to learn out there. I'm not done. I just had an Ayurvedic uh, consultation last week. I've always told myself, like, whenever I hear that word, I was like, I wonder what that is. But I don't bother looking it up online. I tell myself, I'm going to do it organically. I'm just going to navigate through life. And when that person shows up, I'm just going to say, hey, I want to meet with you. And that's what happened last week. That's a beautiful mentality. And I think that's a great place to kind of end this off in because so many people are out there and they're suffering one thing or the other. And they're so entrenched in finding out about it and researching and asking all the questions. And time goes by and they don't know, they're not sure. And then more time goes by and they hear something negative. So they talk themselves out of ever doing it. When in reality, if they just went with it, I feel like it was presented to them for a reason. That you're even that we're having this conversation it's for a reason right it's not that we just came across and just happened and we had to question each other wait do i do this do i not how well do i know him i haven't read all his books like no it's, it's wonderful to have these things and just go in because they're there for a reason and you know to to follow that and to just go in and experience i i think that's what you know uh, everything about healing is, and you're always going to be healing anyway. It's not a, you know, one time and you're done. You keep going through life and healing spiritually and mentally and physically. So thank you so much for sharing this message and, and getting it out. And of course, for pushing biomagnetism in, into a, a further realm where more people are utilizing it for good. Yes. And thank you for having me. And you're right. You know, life is a marathon. It's not a race. You don't get somewhere and then you're done. It's ongoing. And, and, you know, the other thing is if people listen are listening to this podcast, there's a reason you stay to the end. And so I'd encourage all of those listeners, just go get on that website now, get yourself some magnets and uh, let's, let's build this. Let's, uh, let's really heal the world. It's, it's time. I'm with you on that is absolutely time. And that's Save Me Magnets, correct? SaveMeMagnets.com. SaveMeMagnets.com. And just experience it. Try it. What's the worst that's going to happen? You know, it's not going to be like you're going to have some side effect that, that lasts forever, like a lot of the different stuff out there may do right now. But no, this is something that I, I completely agree with you, that the time is is always right now. and we, we should be looking to heal ourselves, others, and and really take us into the next realm of things where you live long, prosperous lives, because all of us can. And this type of suffering doesn't have to continue for so many. So Moses, thank you again for this. It was really enlightening. And, and one more thing, if you'd like, I'm going to, I would love to give you access to my course uh, for you to, to oh, absolutely. dive into it a little bit more. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Let's definitely do that. And we'll share all this information with uh, the audience and the listeners and, and give you the ability to utilize biomagnetism in your life. So Moses, thanks again. Hope Thank to be uh, in touch soon. Absolutely. Take care.